parents I spoke with say they've been anticipating this information and even though it's not quite concrete yet, it does give them an idea of how Spokane Public Schools could operate this fall. Many parents can relate. From spring break to summer break, it's been too long out of the classroom and too much time at home. It's definitely been something that's stressing me out. Rachel Petty is a mother of four and an essential worker. Juggling work, family, and schoolwork for her kids hasn't been easy. They're all boys. So, <laughs> you know, boys, especially, you know, 11, 12, you know, in their adolescence, it's, they get very testy and especially with their parents. It's why when Spokane Public Schools announced plans for in-person classes, Petty was glad to hear her boys would be able to go back. I feel like that, you know, kids, they need they need to be in school. They need to be taught. They need to have that environment. SPS says K through four will meet in person while all other grades will meet on an alternating day schedule. Classes will be limited to 20 students to maintain social distancing. But parents wonder if elementary age kids can even manage that. And I've been, you know, kind of worried about, you know, him keeping a mask on his face and um, you know, washing, you know, frequent, frequently washing his hands and, you know, just overall cleanliness. It's why families have the option to stay home. Dr. Anderson says every student will receive a laptop and access to internet. He understands not all families are ready to send their kids back to the classroom. If they're not comfortable with, with that, uh, we're going to have a, you know, a great online program, distant learning program that uh, uh, parents and students can take advantage of. This year, the phrase back to school brings a whole new meaning. No longer does it mean going back to a physical place. It's why parents are planning for wherever that may be. Just keep an open mind, um, try to stay positive and, and definitely pre-plan um, for anything, you know, pre-plan for in-person learning, you know, going every other day or every other week or, you know, every single day or pre-plan for that in-home learning. You know? SPS says their goal is to have a recommendation by August 1st, then the school board will vote on it on August 12th. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Tim Pham, Krem 2 News.